so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever 66 books haul video which I am so excited to be filming I went to 66 books on the 5th of April with my friend Becky and we had the most incredible time I did actually attempt to vlog the day however I have recently realized that you're not actually meant to film in there I didn't realize I made a TikTok video um, and a lot of people commented saying that you're not supposed to film in there and I didn't realize and nobody told us so I am not going to be uploading the vlog. If you guys don't know what 66 books is before I dive into the haul video I just want to explain it. So essentially it's a massive book warehouse where one weekend of the month it opens to the general public. You do have to pay for a membership. It's £2 for a year so it is not expensive um, and you get to go in there you can browse all the books and they are 70 percent off. Do I need to persuade you to go anymore? I will say the queue is absolutely massive. So we got there at half past seven in the morning. I woke up at quarter to five. It was a very long day. However, we had the most amazing time. It opens at nine o'clock. Get there on time because honestly, the queues are ridiculous. So just make sure you've got the whole day spare. Like if you're gonna go, be prepared to wait in a massive queue, take a book to read and just have fun. It was so good. So essentially I bought one, two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17. I bought 19 books. Does my TBR need 19 books? No, because now we are over 300 books. However, I got got £140 worth of books. I would like you to guess in the comments how much I paid actually, so now is your time to do so, I'll wait. Okay, so I paid £46. £46 for 19 books. So if I calculate this correctly, the 46 divided by 19 is £2.42 a book. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. So me and Becky are going to be going again. We are going to go to the one in October. We're trying to leave it a few months in between, especially because of Becky's work schedule. We don't really have, like, we can't do every single month and we don't want to do every month anyway because of, like, bank account that kind of thing so we're going in October so let me know down below if you guys are gonna go I would love to know but yes without further ado we are gonna dive right into the haul I hope you guys enjoy oh also I forgot to say I got it in a massive box that's how you know you've had a successful trip because they put it in a giant box so anyway without further ado we are gonna dive right in I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching so I'm gonna be doing this in no particular order I am just gonna grab and go so the first book I picked up was Crush by Tracy Wolf I am hoping that they slowly get the whole collection of this series because I have had Crave on my TBR for a very long time I'm saving it I think for more autumnal vibes it's a vampire book but they are chunky like they're not small this one has nearly 700 pages but I am so so excited I don't really know much about what this series is about I only bought crave because I had an itch to buy like a twilight book kind of style book if that makes sense and I saw crave in waterstones once and I bought it and then this one I just had to pick it up because it was £2.40 and it's the second one in the series so I picked this up do I know what it's about no am I excited to read it yes anyway let's move on next up I picked evermore by Sarah Holland I have never heard of this book before I think that is the one piece of advice I would give you is do not go to 66 books with a wish list because it is so random, so like there are there's not gonna be much there. Well, I don't know if that's a lie. I just feel like there's not so many authors there that were on my personal wish list. So I just went blind. There was one series I wanted to pick up and I'll show you that in a second. But the rest, I just sort of looked at the covers. I read the backs of some of them. Um, this one literally says on the back, long ago I stole the sorceress's heart and now she wants it back. And I just had to put it in my basket. So do I know what this is about? No. The font is quite big, which is quite nice. Like the, the gaps in the pages is really good. So I am excited to read this, but I honestly don't know what it's about. I literally picked it up because of the cover and the sentence on the back and again retail wise I forgot to tell you I think most of these either retail for $8.99 or $9.99 so absolute bargain the next book I literally spotted on the top shelf and again another tip I'm thinking of potentially doing like a 66 books tips and tricks video let me know if you'd love to see that but another tip is to just look at the top shelf because a lot of good books are on the top and the bottom shelves and I spotted this one this is a window shopping by Tessa Bailey I love Tessa Bailey I have a lot of Tessa 
Bailey books. I bought three like a couple weeks ago. I have a few more that I've already bought and I have a few more in my pile. So this one I spotted and I had to pick it up. This is a really small book. It's only 250 pages. A nice small read if you're wanting something, just something light and easy. I don't know whether this one, oh yes, it's two weeks before Christmas. So I think I might save this for my December TBR. Let me know if you've read it, but yeah. That is what I bought. Again, I didn't even have to read the back. I literally picked it up straight away and was very excited about it. Then we have Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. Now I had this on my TBR on my like my Amazon wish list, sorry, for a very, very long time. And then eventually I took it off there because I just didn't have the itch to read it. But when I saw it for £2.40, I just picked it up. I didn't even have to think twice about it. Do I know what this is about? No. I just love a romance book and I love ice cream. So that is why I picked it up. And I have heard good things about it some of my friends have read it and again it's not a massive book I think it'd be a nice easy summer read so very excited about this one the next book I'm not entirely sure if I already have it but I wanted to pick it up because it was £2.40 so I don't know whether I have this or not this one is Bad Things Happen Here by Rebecca Barrow I will have to check my Goodreads as soon as I get back to the flat because I cannot remember for the life of me if I have this or not I don't think I do I think oh look at the flop on it <gasps> We love a floppy book. Um, I think I've picked this up before, but maybe put it back down. I can't remember. This one is more of like a mystery, thriller, murdery vibe. It just looked really cool. And the cover was a bit of me. And Becky picked this up and she was like, Melody, this is a bit of you. And I was like, yes, it is. And I put it straight in my basket. And I will say that when you pick up stuff, just put it in your basket and then evaluate it later on because we kind of had a little sieve through of a few of ours. And I did put three of mine back, a whole three, I know. But yeah, I thought this one looked really good. So I picked this one up and again, no idea what it's about, just looked fab, so love that. We then have a Christina Lauren book. And again, I love Christina Lauren. I think they are incredible authors. This one is In A Holidays. So again, I have another Christmassy read. I must remember to put these together so I don't forget to read them in December. But again, I have no idea what this one is about. It says on the back that this one is Love Actually Meets Groundhog Day. And I've never seen Groundhog Day. Do I need to watch it? Let me know. I just felt like this was a really good book to pick up. Again, I love Christina Lauren, so I didn't even need to think twice about it. But also, I did want to get a few Christmassy books. So, very excited to read this one. And again, this was just like a random find. And I will say as well, the books don't particularly have an order there. They're kind of all over the place. So, if you're going to go, give yourself like three hours. Like, me and Becky were in there for over two hours. We looked on every aisle, so... I would definitely have a look everywhere but yeah I'm really excited about this one too. The next book I definitely picked up on a whim and I feel like I saw this in the works a while ago I can't quite remember um, but this is The Fixer Upper by Lauren Forsyth and it looked really cute and I'm not gonna lie I just love a really fun rom-com romance book sometimes like if I've read something heavy like Akatar or something a lot like that takes a lot of brain power I feel like a book like this is a good one to pick up after just to kind of have a refresh. Again the the flop on it is just phenomenal so I know it's going to be a comfy read the font is nice and big that's the only reason I picked it up on the back of this one we have a few author notes and Abby is it Jimenez is that how you pronounce her name or Jimenez um, she said a sweet childhood friends to enemies to lovers romantic comedy which sounds really fun and something a bit different and again page wise we're not looking at a lot just over 300 so we love to see it. The next book I picked up was Freshers by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iverson. Now I, again I don't really know why I picked this one up, I liked the cover, it looked fun, it looked different and I sort of read the back, it just ent enticed me really, it just sounded fun. It says on the back that this book in three words is honest, messy, and funny. So I just had to pick it up. I have no idea what it's about. I guess it's about freshers, which if you guys don't know what that means, it's like the first week of uni is usually called like freshers week, where like, I guess you're fresh into uni. I don't know. But yeah, very excited about that. So I thought that'd be really fun. Then I picked up a book by Riley Sagan. Now I've heard a lot about his books and I, what was the book that I have? The House Across the Lake. I still have that book and I haven't read it. And I'm really wanting to do like a whole bunch of thriller mystery books in October just to kind of keep up with like the Halloween-y theme um, and I spotted this one which is Survive the Night and again it looks like a really short read it's just over 300 pages I loved the cover I saw it was by Riley Sega and I instantly threw it in my basket so there isn't really much more else to say. I feel like when books are £2.50, like under £2.50, you don't really have to think much 
like just throw it in the basket that's my advice go to 66 books and have a whale of a time and I actually limited myself thinking I'm gonna spend 100 pounds today I spent 46 I was very very proud and that was a basket full so roughly for a full basket you're looking at about 50 pounds just for a bit of advice but yeah bought this one really excited about that so the next four books are four books which I saw all over TikTok that people were picking up from 66 books and I instantly said to myself like if I do not find these books I don't know what I'll do and I instantly had them in my brain and all I wanted to do was run around the warehouse to find them but we come across them and they had loads of stock so I was so so grateful and that is the I don't know what series this is called what is it does it have a series name I don't know but it's four books by the Queen Tessa Bailey. Now you may notice that two of these books I actually purchased in a shopping vlog fairly recently however as soon as I saw them on 66 books I returned them to Waterstones because I paid £10 for all four whereas I paid £10 for each book so I was like I'm gonna return those and buy these ones so I'm so so thankful that they had them in. So the four books we have are Too Hot to Handle which again these are all really small they're about I think just under 300 pages each so really really easy reads for getting your kind of monthly reads up which is exciting so yeah we have too hot to handle then we have too wild to tame then we have too hard to forget and then we have too beautiful to break do I know what these are about I have literally no idea I would assume like country vibes maybe like do they go to a forest I have no idea like school romance like I don't I have no idea but all I know is that they're by Tessa Bailey they all match they're a series and I had to pick them up so there's the reason Reasoning for that I don't really need to explain myself but had to pick those up the next book I picked up was honestly mainly for the cover but I did read the back and it sounded something really up my street and also it's only 230 pages which I think I really like to have some shorter book options I have to read a court of silver flames at some point this year which is a massive book and I feel like smaller books like this just really make me feel like I read more in the month if you know what I mean so this is demon hunters trinity by Olivia Chase I love Love the cover it's so simple so clean and on the back of this one it really drew me in I read the first kind of paragraph and I'll read it to you guys as well with a detective for a dad Deanna's normal life has never been too normal uprooted by investigations she finds herself on a long train journey to Edinburgh sitting next to a boy who makes her heart melt or something melt anyway she's melting maybe a new life in Scotland won't be so bad after all but when Dee's reoccurring nightmares come true her destiny changes forever and her after her dad goes missing she becomes part of a trinity of demon hunters Hunters. Along with her two new friends, Minevra and Vesta, she needs to face down. I cannot read. <laughs> what is wrong with me? She needs to face down death, rescue her dad, and save her their city because that's what demon hunters do, right? There's only one question left to answer. How do you kill a dead man? I just feel like this would be fun. A fun read. Maybe it's YA, I don't know. But it just looks fun. So I picked that one up. We then have Married at First Swipe by. Claire Frost. Now I did see a video on TikTok recently about this book that it wasn't very gripping, it was kind of boring, kind of dull but I picked it up before I saw that so now I'm kind of unsure. So I'd love to know down below have you read this book, what your thoughts are on it. I just picked it up because it looked adorable and again a nice light-hearted romance vibe just like those you know so pick that one up. Then we have Ask Me Anything by PZ Raisen. Re Re I don't even know how you pronounce it but this one says you're out of milk you need to get more or your boyfriend is a cheat that sounds very very exciting yeah I don't know like is this a romance is this a I don't even know I literally have no idea what it's about did I buy it because of the cover and the flop yes I did love that so the next book I picked up was movie night by Lucy Courtney I think that's how you pronounce her name and this just looked really really adorable it's so up my street the vibe it's a 300 page book like a romance book I absolutely love it and I do really want to try and do like a 24 hour readathon I don't know when to do it I might do it around Christmas because I do get a long period of time off around that time but yeah I am really excited about this one I literally picked it up because of the cover but can you blame me when it looks that cute that's the question anyway moving on the next book is the only book out of this whole haul that I'm kind of second guessing purchasing because I just don't know why I picked it up but this is Girlhood by Kat Clark and it says sugar spice and scars for life and on the back it said I lost myself when my sister died and those girls rebuilt me piece by piece I thought that nothing could ever come between us I thought thought I knew who I was until the new girl showed up. It, it just sounds like, I don't know, like is it like a mean girls vibe I don't have a clue the cover was cute it was pink I loved the look of it and I just picked it up to be honest because 
I don't know, I think this was one of the first books I picked up when I went in there, so again, I have no idea why I bought it, but I bought it for £2. Can you blame me? No. And last but definitely not least, if you have made it to this far in the video, please comment down below an emoji of a... a book. Comment an emoji of a book, I would love to know if you made it this far into the video. But I picked up Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Now I have Take... what's it called? Something Chloe Brown. Take a Hint, Chloe Brown. Take a... something Chloe Brown. I'm screaming it while I'm editing this video, I'm sure, but I cannot remember. Take a Chance, Chloe Brown. Take a, get a life, Chloe Brown, is that what it's called? Anyway, I have that one, my mum actually picked it up for me from the works once, and I saw this in 66 books, and I thought, well, it's part of the collection, so I'm gonna have to pick it up. Did I need it? No. Am I excited? Yes. So that is everything for this video. I really, really hope you guys did enjoy, and I would love to know down below, have you been to 66 books? Are you planning on going? Again, I'm gonna be there in October. I am so excited about it, so let me know if you're gonna be going as well. I would love to know. And if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as I film a lot of book content, lush content, vlogs and everything in between and I would love to have you join my corner of the internet and help me hit 11,000 subscribers. So yes, thank you so much for watching, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!